Konnichiwa bitches, Anthony here, and this video is going to be my first in three months. It's a very special video. This is going to be my unboxing, or what I'm referring to as my ultimate unboxing. In particular, this is going to be for Zoda the Enders HD Collection. This is the limited edition, which was released for the PlayStation 3. This game is also available for the PlayStation Vita as well as the Xbox 360. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with this game series, it originally came out for the PlayStation 2 in 2001. The first game in the series uh, came with a demo for Metal Gear Solid 2. The second game released in 2003 uh, did raise the bar in overall gaming experience with uh, the same game play mechanics improved immensely. It also had uh, in-game cutscenes, which were animated by Sunrise Studios, who was responsible for Cowboy Bebop, Inuyasha, and practically anything with a name Gundam attached to it released between 1979 and present day. Anyway, the story for the series itself uh, does include uh, elements that are prevalent within anime series as far as the struggle between human factions. In the case of this one, it involves uh, the colonies of Mars and Jupiter's moons going against the Earth forces who aren't too happy about the colonists discovering a new mineral called Metatron, which they are using to make advances in technology as well as weaponry, such as orbital frames. What you see here on the cover is the key orbital frame in the series, Jehudi. Now, as for the contents of the limited edition, let's go ahead and get this box opened up. Now, I should take the time to mention two things. First off, this isn't really an unboxing because I could hit on the week before Christmas. I couldn't help but open this up and just take a quick peek. Secondly, um, this is going to be a matter of history repeating itself because included with this game, be it the regular or limited edition, you're going to have a demo for Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. In the case of the limited edition, you're going to also have this booklet. We'll come to that in a moment. We also have the game itself. And then last but not least, we have this CD, which includes remixes of eight tracks from the game series. Now, as for the game itself, it is boasting that it does play at 1080p with a frame rate of 60 frames per second during uh, the, in uh, the uh, game itself. I have seen uh, reports that show that while that is the case for the cutscenes, the same cannot be said for the uh, in-game play itself where it's noted that the 360 in-game sequences clock in at 42 frames a second and the PS3 clocks in at a slightly disappointing 39 frames per second. Now this is something that can be overlooked because for anyone who has played the game in the past, they know that the second one in particular is prone to a lot of slowdown and drag. Furthermore, who cares? It's giant robots, and if you're a fan of that genre like I am, you're not going to give two shits. You're going to play this, you're going to love it, I can promise you that, be it you playing it for the first time or just taking a stroll down memory lane. Now the art booklet itself you're going to have illustrations from both games. What we see here is going to be uh, Leo, who's the protagonist of the first game, along with his semi-love interest, Silvis. 
and there's Shahudi in the background. So we flip through. He has sketches for the various characters and their mecha. Moving along, we get to the second section, and there's the protagonist for the second game, Bingo Egret. Amazing booklet. I have to admit that it is well worth every penny that I sunk down on this game. A pity that I'm taking a month to finally get my hands on it. So, uh, there you have it. These are the contents of the game. Once again, $59.99 for the limited edition. $39.99 for the regular edition. Definitely go out and get this game if you have not played it, or if you have played it, you're not going to be disappointed. So, um, the gameplay footage, it is going to be coming no later than next Sunday. Just a matter of me being able to pop this in and get myself familiarized with it once again because it has been a while since I played the first game. The second one, it was uh, one that was in my library up until last year, but I am thankful to finally have both games in my possession once again in any format. So on that note, I'd like to take the time to thank, first off, uh, the guys at GameStop. Especially Greg, who really went to great lengths to make sure that I'll get my hands on this limited edition copy. Considering that I never even knew that there was a limited edition of it coming out. I was just aware of the regular edition. Uh, furthermore, Kojima-san. Domo arigato. This is one of your greatest gems. It is underrated, and I hope that with it being re-released on the PS3 and other consoles, that it will gain a new following, especially considering that they are planning on a third game coming out in the near future. Last but not least, I'd like to thank you, the subscriber slash viewer, for tuning into this video. Once again, plenty more on the way, and I would greatly appreciate the comments, feedback, let me know how I'm doing on this, and my other videos, and here's hoping that I will be hearing from you guys soon enough. So that's it. I am going to go ahead and sign off for now. Stay tuned for those vids, and spread the word. Anthony, out of here. Click.